it looks like I have about one and a half bundles, if that much. Hey curl friends and welcome back. So today I'm coming to you guys with an update on Eartha. Bertha is that Brazilian Jerry Curl full lace wig that I received from I Lace Wigs just eight months ago. I know, I know, I know I was supposed to do a one month update, but you know, a lot was going on. I wasn't really I just tell y'all in the review. So like I said, I'm back today to give you guys an update on the Bertha wig. I like to call her Big Bertha. And she is the Brazilian Jerry Curly wig from ilacewigs.com. So they sent over that wig and they sent it over to me in a color number two. Like I said, it's Brazilian Jerry Curly. She is a 20 inch wig and she is 120% density. So I've had her for a little bit over eight months. <laughs> And I guess I'll go ahead and just kind of give you guys a gist of what all I've been doing with the wig. So I customized it. I went ahead and bleached the knots on it. I bleached the knots in the fronts only, as you guys can see. And I just left the back normal as always. I ended up cutting off all of the clips on this wig because I ended up having a business trip to New York for this little Samsung event. You guys can see that vlog coming soon. I did a vlog that um, I was super, super terrified. Let me just be real with y'all. I was a little scared that I was going to get caught up in security with the metal clips so I went ahead and just cut them off and just wore pretty much the got to be glued on the front and then just the two elastic bra straps in the back so she no longer has any clips on her all I have is just like the two bra straps in the back and like I said I just got to be glued in on the front and let me know have you guys ever had any crazy experiences at the airport when it comes down to wigs and wig clips y'all she made me like legit flip up my wig to you know like pat the back of my neck and stuff I have never had that happen to me. I've worn wigs to the airport before. Not with any clips in it though, so I don't know. I was just a little nervous about going through security with these wig clips. Needless to say, everything else has been the same. I don't use um, mousse on this hair anymore. I've been using this Hydrotherma Naturals. This is their Aloe Curl Enhancing Twisting Cream. I've been using just a little bit of that. This hair does not like a lot of product. It gets pretty weighed down pretty quickly because it is super, super thin hair. So let's go ahead and get into my pros and cons. This hair is still super, super soft. I love that. I love how soft it is. It feels so realistic. The curls are popping tin. I love all of this curl poppage that I've been getting with this hair. Curl pattern is hot. It's very, very realistic looking. The density is pretty decent. Like I said, I got a standard 120 density, so it looks pretty natural and normal. Moving into my cons, my updated cons, I still have the same exact cons that I had in my initial unboxing or review. The hair is still shedding shedding like a dog to be honest um i wore it in new york for about i was in new york for about 48 hours three days or so two to three days or so and i did everything i was supposed to do with it i went ahead and braided it down at night i tried twisting it down i always wore a little satin bond on it and the next morning i will take it down and it's just super super tangled and matted and i was just kind of over it <laughs> i really didn't like it i've had plenty of curly hair before um i've had natural boss lady kinky curly hair <laughs> and i never get that kind of matting and tangling like I legit have to go in section by section and like detangle the hair every single day it has to be wet down I did not like that like I said it sheds like no tomorrow like I don't even have to run a brush through this hair just legit just running my hands through it it's just like shedding like a dog I don't know if it's, it has to do with the cat construction I'm not really sure what all of that is about but it does shed a, a lot super super high maintenance you have to touch this hair every single day or else you'll end up with that extreme matting and tangling and that's where old girl got her bit her name Big Bertha from I had to sit down when I got back from New York City deep treat the hair go through it section by section by the time I got through this hair y'all that is why it's super super thin looking like it is right now it's super super thin it looks like I have about one and a half bundle if that much at this point but it's been eight months like I said this is what it's looking like um a little bit that's left every single time I wash it it sheds every single time I wash it the color is bleeding it's bleeding like no tomorrow there's tons and tons and tons of like this brown rinse that's rinsing off into my tub every single time I wash this hair. I don't know what it 
is. I thought that originally it was just like, you know, maybe they colored the hair, it's just gonna bleed or spill for a little bit. I've had it for eight months. Every single time I wash it, tons and tons of just like this brown looking water coming out into my tub. But other than that, the cap is a size medium. I would say if you are gonna go for any of their cap sizes and you have a big head, always go for the largest one. This cap is super, super small. Not the smallest that I've seen, but it is super small. The back does not fit me all the way, which is the reason why I haven't really been wearing it up so much. Other than that, it fits pretty good. Um, the perimeter and everything fits really, really nice. Just the back, which is a little bit small. So those are my thoughts. Eight months later, we're almost a year later, year strong. Um, I think that this wig has potential. I feel like if they add just a little bit more hair, I wish I wouldn't have got like the standard density and I would have gotten like a 140 or higher density just to make it just a little bit thicker to like make up for all the shedding that it was gonna do. Gone a cap size higher, maybe like a larger so. Not gotten the wig clips. And if it could just like stop shedding and stop all this like color bleeding into my tub, this would be like one of my favorite wigs. Cause it really is one of my favorite wigs. It looks really, really realistic. It's just a hassle to deal with. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to know what I feel about this hair. I never really spoke about it afterwards. Because I was going through all of this with the hair, you know, I was trying everything possible or like trying to come up with a solution as to why it's shedding, why is this color bleeding, why is it looking like this. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this updated review. If you would like a tutorial on these corn rows that I did this half up half down I'll have it linked on the screen right now so go ahead and check that out subscribe to become a girlfriend I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video